Broadcasting live from the Treehouse in Phoenix, Arizona, it's Beer Googles, double E, double O, double G, with Chris Woodsy Peralta and Mark Poles from the home office in Gilbert, Arizona. And we play around too much to do that well. That wasn't terrible. I don't know. I'm, I can't wait to look back at that one. I felt I felt like that was fun. Yes. How are you, sir? Uh, muy bien. How are you doing? Welcome to the Googles of the beer. Buenvenidos de cervezas de Google. How you been, man? Very good. It's How been, have you been, man? Good. It's been like a week or so. I've seen you in a week. Are we going to be okay? Has it been a week? Uh, I don't know, A little dude. bit over a week. I forget shit. A week in a couple of days, probably. Uh, 10 days? Yeah, it could be Whoa. 17 days. <laughs> could, could always be 17 days, my friend. Um, new beer Googles today. And why am I on the screen all the time? Because you're sexy, bro. Oh, it's your turn. Because I'm fishing stuff oh, out yeah. of What's, the backpack. What are we fishing? Special accoutrements. Okay. In other words that I don't know. Okay. Well, I love the accoutrements because accoutrements, you obviously do know what it means. Uh, it sure. Correctly. Stuff. Side stuff. Stuff on the side. What's going on today? Extra, today's what are we talking topic about? today, the sir, Googles. of the beer Googles is... The, all the Star Wars movies ranked worst to first, and we included Go. we included Rogue One and Solo. Yes, because they are movies in the Star Wars franchise. They are Star Wars stories. They build backstory and or front story. Yes, I guess also Tambian. All right, um, to this was uh, fun. to uh, pra, I don't even know the word. Preview today's episode. Preface. I was given this as a gift a few days ago. I thought I would show you. This is a Star Wars little booky thing what? from 1997, I think it is. Oh. It's the episode four, A New Hope, mm -hmm. but it's, it was released in 1997, I think it was. It probably was right around, well, maybe it was 99. It's That's right beautiful. when Revenge, or what's it called? The Phantom Golden Menace Book. came out. Golden Books. Golden books. Follow the adventures of brave Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, Leia, Han Solo, and the Rebel Alliance as they battle Darth Vader and the evil Galactic Empire. Darth bum, Vader. Bum, bum. Darth Vader. That's beautiful, man. Well, we still have to have a special episode where you and I play with all of the... Star Wars toys? 1977 Star Wars toys that yeah, I have I still. Yeah. Pew, pew, when are you going to get those? I have them. What? I've shown them to you. Uh, so no, you I, haven't. Yes, I have. Negative. Remember, I gave you Greedo. No, you didn't. I brought Greedo. I am you not. Brought, in, you brought Beelzebub. I am not in possession of Greedo, bro. Bro. Well, we're going downstairs. We're going to take care of that. Okay. Tonight. So and now the, the second the accoutrement of the day is Luke Skywalker's best friend. I forget his name. Dax? Yeah, sure. And then uh, also is the Boba Fett. These are all yours? Oh, thanks for showing these up. This is this looks like Tom Green. Uh, looks like Tom Green, bro. Yeah, it looks. Doesn't this look like Tom? Green? Unleash the Fury, Mitch. That's my favorite. I love. I love Austin, Mr. Fett. Massachusetts. Look at that. that looks like. That looks I like think his little rocket like pack Green. shoots too. If this one shoots, it might. There's be a little worth button a lot. on the side. That might be worth some money. You'll you shoot your eye hazard. out. That was a choking hazard. They got rid of those after. Oh, How really? new is that? Uh, not. I mean, ten. Oh no, this is not. Yeah, there is a button. Button. Okay, well, let's not. Hang on, here we go. I don't want to like lose an eye, bro. And we're on video again, <laughs> so let's not. It's not, not working. <laughs> Good, it's not working. All right. Dun, 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 dun. So we decided to rank the Star Wars is 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 all uh, now. So we have There's eleven. Eleven. So we have eleven uh, teen million trilogy one, two, and three, and then Rogue One and Solo. Correct. Yes, sir. Okay. Ha. Uh, so for research for me, yeah, I'm. We were going to record this last week, so I'm glad we didn't because that gave me opportunity to watch eight. Of count the, them of eight the eleven of the eleven over the last. Which two, two did you not watch? Oh, the original three. The original three. You I did, did not watch. watch. Okay, because I've seen them ad nauseum. I know where they sit in my heart and in my mind and in my gut and your soul, bro. Your soul, bro. Just let your soul, bro. But in rewatching these other ones, I'm more confused now than ever because I kind of want to put them all at number 11. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, shit. But we'll talk about that. I, I'm just, it's obviously tongue in cheek because actually one of them, one of the movies I think you'd be surprised, cracks my top three. 
Top three. One of the newest. One of the eight newest cracks my top three. That I think is impressive. Uh, I think I, I think mine too. Oh, nice. Yeah. So we're gonna go worst to first. Yes, sir. Is that how we're gonna do this now? Is it just you and I? Correct. Yes, sir. And I have an able honorable mention. Yeah, let's do. Let's take care of Abel's story first, because I you okay. said it was a pretty funny fucking. Yeah. Story, so so I, I asked this. Abel. The best friend is a uh, degree in film production, and he's a Star Wars psycho. He has Star Wars tattoos and goes to Comic Con every year in San Diego. So he's he is the movie and Star Wars aficionado. The dude knows everything. So I asked him to text me his list, which I can't find now. So my fault, I apologize. But I did remember something very funny was that he said, uh, the worst was obviously the movie we all hate the most, which is the Jar Jar Binks movie. <laughs> Slightly above that, in less hatred, was the Star Wars holiday special. That's how much he hates the movie. <laughs> 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 and the holiday special was bad. It was not good. I mean, it's super old, like 1980 or something, and it's it horrible. Did not do anyone any favors now. But that's how bad the Phantom Menace is. Is that the holiday special is better? That is uh, scary. <laughs> I think it's hilarious, dude. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna get. You into don't know that. how to respond to that. No, we're gonna get into that, right? What the holiday special? Are we starting with our favorite and then going to the worst? No, worst. worst Cause first. we give. Do we give worst honorable men the best w honorable best worst mention. honorable mention? It's like this is the best worst movie ever. Wait, uh, it's not even. No, that. it's the worst worst. It's not even. It's the, literally the worst worst. Right. All right. We might as well just get this shit show over with. Oh, have you ever heard of the? Have you heard of a fecal festival? Ex <laughs> <clears throat> um. Otherwise known no. as a shit show. Oh. A fecal festival. A fecal I heard fiesta? it on the radio, and I'm like, that is the perfect PC way to say shit show. A fecal festival. Or a fecal fiesta. Oh, a fiesta also. Well, only in the South. That's a poop party. Poopee party. A poop party, a shit show, a fecal fiesta. I love it. <laughs> a fecal fiesta. Poop party. Not a fecal siesta. No. Because you don't want to do that when you're sleeping. All right. Is that like a? F Never mind. I am so le ask. let's get this shit out of the way. Okay. What, what's number? What's what's your worst? Phantom Menace, hands down. Horrible. Next. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a note here. Yeah. What, uh, what is your note, sir? <laughs> Jar Jar ruins everything. <laughs> uh, do you want to hear a? <laughs> It is such the worst. I watched it again, and fuck, why the hell did I watch that show again? Why the fuck did I watch that again? Uh, I don't know. Why? 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 No, the only reason you'd watch it again is to watch the pod race scene and the lightsaber battle, and you fast forward through the rest. If it was the, the first Star Wars ever released, it would be like Spy Kids. Yeah. popular it would not be adult popular the way of course yeah that's it absolutely is right so childish the way they made that movie yes like a goddamn cartoon and that's fine if that's the angle you're going for there was so cgi heavy on everything that was unnecessary true i agree it was like it was, think about like you you ever you heard pure music like a pure song and then it gets overproduced and you're like you had it when it was a little more raw or a little like yes i i absolutely see what you're saying and i totally agree yes okay so what else would you like to say no please i i'm uh, my soapbox is I, I i i i met up with uh kevin klein over the weekend and we were talking about that we were going to record this today and he said uh would you like to hear a Star Wars conspiracy theory? I want to love it. So I was like, what? I couldn't, I had never heard this. And I was like, wow, that's okay. So he said he read a couple years ago that there was a conspiracy theory on the cyber internet webs that interwebs, whatever the fuck, that I've heard of it. The thing that holds all the, the data gooks. and the yeah. data and the googs and the beers <laughs> that Jar Jar oh, Binks, we hold the beers. Jar Jar was actually, the, the rumor was Jar Jar was actually the the mighty sith lord 
but he was so strong in the force he acted the way he acted as a cover-up so that he everyone around him he was an idiot and made dumb things happen but it actually helped the side that he was on so he was a ding dong but nobody ever got hurt and he so it, he was using the force to do those things so the theory goes then at the end the last movie it was revealed that the whole time jar jar was the most evil and powerful sith there ever was i was like wow that's then the whole the whole when thing was, was it revealed when like was in it? the last in the in the blah 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 the um uh, number nine like at the very end of nine oh, okay it was it would have like if they did that would it have made sense and redeemed him because mm. the entire time he was an evil bad motherfucker you know kind of like everyone thinks hannibal lecter is totally fine until he eats your liver so but different yes <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was interesting. I never. I was like, oh, yeah, but, I had never but heard see, that. This it's interesting from like a fake news perspective. Like, what? How does that hold any water? Where is the connection to Jar Jar having any no, power? No, it's other you, than you, being it, it a would useless be a, piece of shit. It would be a who complete got surprise. fucking lucky, right? And it's not that. But that doesn't. The surprises have to be anchored in some kind of foreshadowing of some sort. Per yes, perhaps I yes because the. It's no, there's no movie without, oh my God, I told you so, or I knew it, or I was guessing that, or, you know what I mean? Like, that's what draws a lot of people is the, the, the anticipation of what's right, going to happen. The exposure of the, of the spoiler. Of the, of the, of the plot line. Right. And Jar Jar all of a sudden being the Sith Lord is like, yeah, I was behind this whole time. It's like, yeah, well, we didn't see any of you, you didn't see you pulling the strings in any way. So like how, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. even though the Emperor was behind Darth Vader in the first three yeah you still felt you knew darth Vader. somebody was fucking still in command somebody's making shit happen yes and for jar jar to run shit and like kind of be like me thought so it's fucking stupid okay, thank you <laughs> so <laughs> i fucking hate i hated that movie i just well what about the what Can you about ever hear my theory on it i would love to no no what about what Let's about the what, about what about the the lightsaber battle with Darth Maul and Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan Kenobi? It is really nice. It's really it's good. It's really nice. Really That's well your done. description. It's awesome. It is Don't cool as shit. Placate I'm not me. I'm not a fan of the pod racing as much as you are. Okay. But I do like the lightsaber. The lightsaber battle is phenomenal. I felt like it ended too quickly. Yeah, I could yeah. Like there's no way I can see this guy being if he was that formidable formidable I didn't feel like uh, Obi Wan was ready at that point to be that formidable, to finish him off that quickly, that well. Really. Okay, so, I see what you're saying. Obviously, you know he fell off the edge and was hanging, and he got back up. You know all that stuff too. Okay, but obviously, tell me about your thoughts though. The I, I love the lightsaber battle. I mean, that's probably my favorite, and I've said this before. That's my favorite Star Wars scene, hands down, of all scenes. Yeah, because the music. And the anticipation because of the force fields that are coming down. And then you've got this new character that with the freaking thorns on his head. And he's got a double-sided lightsaber. You're like, holy shit, this guy's rad. And then the rest of the movie's garbage. So that, but that scene I think is phenomenal because of the, in the entire package, the way it's, the way it spins out and the, the music and how it's all intertwined, I think is fantastic. I, I love the scene. You're right. The scene is awesome. Well, the rest of the movie doesn't make up for it, in my opinion, unfortunately. Of course it's not. That Correct. Fucking bad. Yes. The underwater stuff. Oh, that was fucking the, terrible. The battle scene stuff. All of it was just be done. The dumb droids. Can you take it away. Take it away, please. It it was for children. It was not for Star Wars fans. Yeah, I waited in line in 1999. I it was you know. I did because it was a midnight. It was a midnight movie, and so I was in line at whatever time, and you know, stayed up and watched it. And oh God, help us! I had the privilege of a half day, and I took uh, and I went like a you know twelve one o'clock, so it wasn't sold out like that. But it was full. But do you think that that's part of the problem? Is that fans were waiting for so many years to see another movie? Yeah, and that our expectations were so high. The expectations were high, and Star Wars, Lucas was different. So here, here's my theory. Please. If I may. No. 
George Lucas believes in the force. He believes in this whole connected something, whatever this thing is. It's kind of like what we talk about, what we kind of have a consciousness ideas about. Yeah. Oh. Some kind of collective universal connection, mm -hmm. right? Connectiveness. He believes that. Well, how do you get people to believe your shit is you get children involved. When, when East Germany became East Germany, my mom was coming home with homework from school that was communist. That was like, you know, how to be a communist basically is they were grooming their children, right? Cause that's how you get a, that's how you get a communist adult is have start with a communist child, right? Well, that's deep dude. So this is how, this was Lucas's way of getting the religion of the force out to children to be embraced. Ewoks was yeah. the first in the first trilogy. Yeah. Ewoks of course. were the, was the Jar Jar of that was series. The I understand. This, the second set is Jar Jar. Yeah. And then this last set, I'm going to say, is that little weird bird thing oh, that not, Chewbacca not, almost ate. Not BB-8? BB-8 is, but he's like R2. Yeah. So he really is just replacing R2. Yes. Which is a different type of affection. But R2 is definitely one as well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there, any, he's any of the robots, and, the toys. And yeah, he's, like, he's so likable. Right. So it's my opinion that that's kind of what he was using. He was using these characters to hook children because my, from my understanding children gravitated tested pretty well with jar jar just not with human like human people it's ridiculous <laughs> okay i think we took enough we've given it too much time uh and that i, I unwatchable in my opinion I, well i sucks. guess so let's ask everybody that listens leave us a comment should the phantom menace be ranked higher than 11th is it yes. is it the why was it why what reason would you have is it's not the worst how about that is that possible in someone else's mind that's a great question you know what i mean like maybe yeah. we're totally full of shit. absolutely all right so we're done <laughs> look we're full of shit regardless well but we're no we're, i'm an expert at some things like we're star on wars the money we're on the money in this point but we're full money. of shit in others okay you're number 10. my number 10. drum roll i hit the button too hard i'm so sorry you always hit number that. 10 the rise of skywalker i love you man you do is that your 10 as well it's my number shut 10. up okay why no you're t you start sir okay so that's this is the, that's the most recent one right yes they sir. just came out of like a year night like 2019 is that unfortunately about? yes sir unfortunately and i was um obviously looking forward to it because it's a star wars movie and the previews looked awesome and i i liked the previous two and then about 10 minutes in, I wanted to walk out. I, I almost walked out of the theater because when I heard the emperor's voice and then they show the emperor, I was like, I'm, I'm out. This, you can't, you can only regurgitate a storyline so many times. And that's, they just basically regurgitated 1983. And I'm like, no, no, not, no, 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 no. Agreed. I <laughs> <laughs> ah, <poop. laughs> well because i'm kind of move up i want to move up a little further before i critique some acting or not even acting i think the characters i did not care for a number of the new characters love or hate like darth vader you was the bad guy however you love to hate him right Th hate there, to love him whatever there was an attraction to Darth Vader. Yeah, and Kylo Ren's terrible. Everyone had to watch Darth Vader walk into a room. Everyone had to watch Darth Vader talk. Like, yeah. he was with James Earl Joyce's, or Jones's voice and David Prowse's body. Yeah. Right? Just, he was this magnanimous thing. Absolutely. He was, you were in awe of Darth Vader. Love or hate, regardless. Right. Kylo Ren sounds like a whiny fucking bitch. He does. I won't disappoint you. And I hate to say it. And be, before I continue, because it's bad. Adam Driver, I like as an actor. Yeah. I love, I love him in Logan Lucky. Yeah. He plays a one-armed uh, bartender, Logan Lucky. Phenomenal movie. With Daniel Craig. Great movie. Yeah. Great movie. 007 and 007. Kylo Ren. And he was, he was uh, one of the stormtroopers. Did you know that? What? He played. He, Who? Did you know that? Uh, Daniel Craig. He was a stormtrooper. Yeah. So when do you remember when he walked the stormtrooper that walked in with 
Ray when she's like, "You want to, you want to unlock yes. me?" Yes, that was him. Shut up. Yeah, it's Daniel Craig. No shit. I hope I'm right. Did you just make that up? I, no, I hope I'm right. We're gonna look <laughs> this up after, but I swear it's him. Okay. I'm not to do gonna do a correction because I'm that confident. But basically, where he's, she's like, "And you're gonna drop your weapon?" Yep, I'm gonna drop my weapon too. And he just drops and walks out. Right. It's right. Daniel Craig. No fucking shit. doing a cameo. Yeah. Wow. How fucking cool is that? Anyway. I but had no idea. Adam Driver is a very good actor. I lo- I like him and I loved him watching him in Saturday Night Live when he did Undercover Boss. The oh, that was thing. so good, dude. I'm not a huge fan of the newest. The st- that was Saturday so Lives. funny. That was probably one of the best of the newest group, like one of the best skits. Yeah. Was the Undercover Boss Kylo Ren. But Adam Driver's really good. That said, the stupid fucking mask voice... I think you have a mask voice probably. You're a mask voice this because you don't like Bane either. I just, <laughs> I just fucking the light bulb just came on. I did, yeah, I didn't like Bane. It was cool the first time. You don't like the Batman. And you do a very good Bane, and I hate you because you keep doing it. But uh, I don't know. I, don't like this. I can't do a Kylo Ren shit. I can't do a shit Kylo Ren. Uh, I hope I don't disappoint anyway, you, Grandpa. Please. So I guess I, I guess I am a maskist. Bane was okay. I just didn't like it. You know, I've seen that movie four times, and I'm like, okay, dude, I'm wrap it up, bro. Just stop being a dipshit. I'm like, I just can't. it was well, it, watching it four times is on you. Yeah. Oh, it's totally it's my not fault. Like it's one. Time. It's completely my oh, fault. Okay. I'm so sorry. Well, it's like Jesus it's like you over listened to song, bro. That's not possible. Like to a song. I'm it sorry. Turned, is that kind of like blah, 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 the what's it called? Blah, 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 blah. The the, her, the the helicopter. <laughs> I want you back. I want you back. Want, want you, want you back. Cher Lloyd. Come I, on. I don't know who that is. That's the one who goes, who goes, I had a cup of... Something about a restaurant. Of song. Yeah, what, arrested. What, wrong. Is that like a pop? Yeah. It's pop super popular right now? Like, it, was on a, it was one of those now that now you call music 28,346. The, they don't have CDs anymore. They like MP3 sticks. I think I actually got it on CD. It might have been that long ago. It might oh. have been like five years ago or something. Oh, okay. Who knows? I, I didn't know I, it was. I thought it was a today song, a uh, twenty twenty one song. Hello to the world. <laughs> I happen to like my uh, pop music, so yeah, I've got a diverse, eclectic taste of music. Yes, you do. It's all bad, but it is. No, that's all, not true. But it's all over the place. You like disturbed? They're okay. Yeah, I'm disturbed by them. Well, but Rise of, of Skywalker. Back to that. Yes. Okay. It's poop yeah bringing back the emperor poop. with with fucking planet killers on each of the star destroyers that are on a planet that have to be navigated to go to get out of the atmosphere like what fucking point it at the fucking so- star in your fucking solar system and get out of there god damn it <laughs> <laughs> so you know. found holes in the stories what you're I, saying and well, there's bad acting that, that so many people survived can fucking can finn please die uh no, because him and Ray are the main characters, so they can't die. Dude, what's That's her like face? Han and Luke. Did his girl survive? No, R- Rose. Yeah, she. she, she I don't remember if she died or not. I totally. I watched. I'm not going to watch still, it again. I I repressed it. So did um, you watch? Did you watch Rise of Skywalker? I did watch again? Rise of Skywalker. I don't remember again. if Rose died or not. She, I know she got sick again or something. I she was in the second one and she so was shot watch. down in that little thing. That was in the second on the, one. On the she red knocked, with the salt. She knocked him out of the way. Remember? Yes, correct. That's how she got hurt. But uh, yeah, so Rise of Skywalker. I don't... It, I don't know why it's called Rise of Skywalker first of all. It sh- yeah, it, it shouldn't be because she's not a Skywalker. She's a fucking... She's uh, a Palpatine. Palpatine. So can it be the Rise of Palpatine? Would that have given it away? I it guess, probably right? would have. But what? It was it that much of a fucking spoiler? Had, they gave it away in the first twenty minutes or so. Didn't yeah, they? yeah. That's when I walked. I what's was his, gonna walk what's out. What's his fucking face? Finds a little triangle with a little navigation thing, and then he flies there. What's that's, his face? Who's that? Kylo Ren. Oh, okay. Finds that little Sith navigation. Yeah, yeah, thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. The cube, the triangle, the pyramid. Right. Cube. The tech, okay. the tesseract. No. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I'm good. Okay. Next. The, to your point. Next. <laughs> I, I, I'm just you, such a big fan of having a good story that if it if it doesn't have that, I'm out. And I don't I don't mind that both Lucas and um JJ Abrams they promoted bland acting, it seemed. That's my perspective. That it wasn't that like what's her name? Natalie Portman. Just just boring. That's She's Lucas. fantastic. I think it's Lucas. 
That was Lucas. Because Abrams wasn't. I think Lucas has his hands in the way that they deliver their fucking... Me- I it's agree. It's so fucking dry Correct. and straight. It doesn't... It doesn't work to build emotion. Correct. But it worked in the first... Th- the original three, that wasn't original like three, that. They weren't like... I don't feel like they were like that. They were not. Because you had he got Han very Solo. controlling. He got very... like fly by the seat of your pants, you know, off the cuff with all those other expressions. But there was nobody like that in the, in the other six. He got American graffiti fucking Harrison Ford is what he got. He got the rebel. He got the fucking, he got the fucking yeah. cool kid. Right. Yeah. You couldn't, you can't corral the cool kid. And I don't think he knew what he was doing yet. Like, let's be honest. Like yeah. Lucas is, yes, Young. he was. A film. Don't get me wrong. He was an act, and it was Spielberg as well, correct? Yeah, they, they both worked together on this. Produced so. by, I think. Produced and direct, whatever the I forget. The screenplay directed, produced. I think mm-hmm. Lucas was producer and wrote screenplay, and I think Spielberg did a lot of directing in the first one or second, but I could be wrong. Something like that. I think. I think. Yeah. yeah. Like I don't anyway. think the first one. Maybe Empire and Jedi. So Rise of Skywalker, retread of the fucking Emperor. Come on, give us a fucking break. If it, they mentioned something about clone technology, if it was, his fingers wouldn't have been all crumbly. Like it's, it was a fucking stupid all glued cr- together. Don't fuck- you hate all crumbly? His, he so was, worse, he was bro. He just, he looked bad <laughs> ever since fucking he and, uh, Mace Windu. I was going to, I was going to say, get these motherfucker playing all these goddamn <laughs> fucking stakes on the goddamn play <laughs> I was going to try to get, what's his name? The guy fucking Samuel from, L. Jackson. yeah, but the guy from Pulp Fiction. Oh, I can't remember his name. Damn. My girlfriend has a duvet cover, which means yeah, pretty much. I have, I have a duvet, duvet cover. cover. <laughs> um, I forget his character name. Bad motherfucker on the wallet. Bad motherfucker on the wallet. Jules. Yes. Julian. No, Jules was. Oh yeah. Jules was. Jules. Uh, Jules was. Uh, the other guy. Yeah. With the ponytail. Damn it. Now I'm, John Travolta. Yeah, I'm out. Anyway, Rise <laughs> Skywalker, second piece of shit. <laughs> Let's go. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, barely. I didn't understand it. It didn't. What the fuck is Planet Sky Star Base fucking killer? Like it is a stupid f- Star yeah. Killer Base or something? Yes. How fuck? Yeah. What a, what no, a that was stupid fucking name. Like Death Star had a cool like ring to right. it. Let's not kid ourselves. Death Star was like, what the fuck? Yeah. Star Killer Base sounds like a fucking pop band. <laughs> or, it sounds like it sounds like David Bowie's uh, alter ego. Yeah, Star Killer Bass. That's the album from Ziggy Stardust. Ziggy playing guitar. All right, get off of me, bro. <laughs> get off of me and go to number nine because I'm done. I'm on you, you sicko. Number nine. <laughs> I hope people are like this is entertaining at least because I'm entertained. Are you not entertained? Last Jedi, number nine. Yep. Is that what you got too? Yeah, I've got the last. Get out of here, dude. We think, haven't even talked we're about this. Close. No, we have not talked about we, this. And I part had... of this was so we wouldn't influence each other's. Right. I'm torn because I started watching the second set of three. And when I, I would just watch those recently. The that's second four, five, set of that's, three. That's one, two, three. That's clone. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Phantom Menace, clones, and. Sith. Sith, Revenge of the Sith. Uh, and those are the most recent I watched. And. I had this kind of ranked still this way, but they seem a little more cartoony. At least the newer ones seemed more Less realistic. Cartoony. Yes, I agree. I, I don't know if realistic is the right well, word. Yeah, less but cartoony. It's a different style for sure, and definitely more like the original style, the way Abrams wanted to do it, like an homage. Yeah. Way more. Yeah. Than the other styles. Just in my opinion. I agree. So even though this the other the second set of three was cartoonish, obviously we know Phantom Menace was the absolute biggest piece of shit, <laughs> the biggest pile of shit. So tell me about the Last Jedi. I don't remember, dude, and why it's there. Last Jedi. That's one we're on the island in Ireland. That little that's, thing in that's Ireland the middle with one. the cliffs. Yeah, I just didn't. She train. He trains her. I didn't like of. that whole thing with the mirrors, and she goes down there, and oh, it's my parents, and. And then she goes down that hole of darkness and shit. And I just didn't like, I just didn't like, it was not interesting to me. It was boring. You know? According to critics, it is the, it's the best of the newest three. I, okay. Do you, you, obviously you and I don't agree with that. I do not agree. So why do critics say that? They, because of the Luke. Because of the Luke. Portion, I think. Okay. The training. 
the well, Jedi training. It had Mark Hamill in it, in a big portion of it. Yeah. So that was important, I think, for purists and some other people. I think it was cool that that was the one where Yoda was, uh, Yoda blew up the Jedi tree, right? With the books yeah, and shit in it. Burned it yep. he, he lit that shit on fire. <laughs> I, I'm gonna I th- set that shit on fire. I didn't. Uh, I like. I didn't mind that part, you know, but it just wasn't to me. It wasn't interesting, or it wasn't. I didn't. I was like, I don't even care. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, whatever. I wasn't. It did not move the needle for me. Exactly. Thank you. Great analogy. So Chewbacca flies, lands with Ray to that thing. Those little birds. He's eating one of them, and then he can't eat one because it's looking at him sad. Now it's a fucking. Now it's a fucking dashboard fucking Jesus. A dashboard Jesus. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yes, I know what you're isn't, talking isn't, about. Isn't, isn't it a dashboard Jesus it, on the Millennium yeah, Falcon? Yeah, it is. And I should end? have brought you it because the Lego. And it goes, oh. Or the Lego. The it looks like. it yeah. sounds like a weird turkey. If you, kind of. If you speed it up, it sound, like if you sped up a turkey sound, it, it's, I think it sounds like that. Okay. So it's the Star Wars Thanksgiving. Is, that's what I was thinking. So I should have brought it because the Millennium Falcon Lego set has two of those little things, super super tiny little birds out of like five Legos, super little. So Where's here's it? the other question then about yes. that one. And you said you watched it, but probably been a while and only watched it once because it sucked. No, here's I've seen okay. it like three times probably. Okay. okay, I did like the. Go ahead. I'm sorry. You're no, you're, no, please. I did like the the um the walkers on the planet with the salt and the red sand. The yeah, that's the, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, it was the, fucking, it, it, was, it, was, it was empire, empire, but with more armor is empire with fucking white sand instead of white snow. Correct. And you know, ironically on, it was the second bro. movie in the trilogy. On, so is empire. No, I, I get it. Come on, bro. I get it. I can't, I just can't. JJ I can't pulls. Do it. I get it. Okay. I, it's sad, man. It's sad because I, I wanted to really like it and I, I wanted to really like it. And Me I too. Didn't. I want to like all of them. I I hated the sand scooter thing. The scan the sand skimmer fucking like they With fucking the- stood a shot. Are you fucking kidding me? Like how stupid. It was so dumb. I'm sorry. It was so dumb. <laughs> her moving the rocks at the end to get him out. That was impressive because it talks. It shows the growth of her strength. Yes. Okay. I get the. I get that port. Why that was needed. But couldn't they just have escaped out the back and just done that and been like, we're trapped, and then not had that whole fucking stupid shit and still had the saber fight with Luke and just not had that dumb ass, stupid fucking sand skimmer scene? Yeah, that was. I never thought about the fact that, oh, they don't stand a chance. I never. I'm like, well, obviously they're old and shitty against the at at walkers. What did they expect to fucking stop? What did you expect me to do? I, I don't Like I, the snow speeders had a fucking shot. In the Empire. Yes. They were working like they were designed. They to, had an idea right. of how to conquer them. Right. Now, whether it works or not, it's a totally different thing, but they had a strategy going in. Yeah. These had these fucking things that they didn't even have armament, did they? Armament? Didn't they just like skim at them? Like, what, uh, what they throw watch sand out. in their face? We're going to skim at you. Like, <laughs> I have no fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to understand even the point of them being out there. They didn't have lasers. Did they have even have guns lasers. on them? Lasers. I don't know, dude. I, I'm trying I really to block don't it out. Remember. I don't remember. Me neither. But I just watched it a month ago too. I don't even the whole dark, the whole yeah, the dark hole, the mirror thing, the parents thing was stupid. You knew that she was from gonna be from somewhere. This whole like, deserty. Your your parents were nothing. Uh, Roger nine ten four. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle Redis, Roger God ten damn. four. <laughs> one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Just shut the fuck up, Kyle Kyle. Aldrin. Um. So, Last Jedi, any final, please give me, I Get off me. I <laughs> fucking hate these goddamn soapboxes, but I've been taking them today. I am, I've been a little amped up today, I think. Why? Because I've been real excited to talk about this, because I've watched eight of the 11. Uh, how's it going? You okay? I, I'm not doing so well. Therapy, bro. I need therapy after this. I'm going to have to spend a lot more money on therapy. Oh, shit. Closing arguments. Last Jedi, go. Uh, uh, it, it was uh, towards the bottom of my ranking. Because it was poopy. That is all. That's all. Nine of 11. Yes, that's correct. Closing thoughts. Last Jedi. Marcus. Not the the best of the three? Yes. Next. It's (laughs) it's sad. Like, the newer ones had the right feel. 
but they just or the stories were lacking. They had the right. Uh, they were trying to do the right thing. They just didn't. It just didn't happen for me. Execution. And it could just be my age. It could be just that I'm older, and you know. Is that because the acting was dry and the stories were lacking? I think it could have been. Do you mind hitting that last yeah. switch on the right? Sir? I know, bro. Ah! Wah! Uh, yeah, to your point, stories lacking. Yeah, absolutely, stories are fucking lacking. I mean, they brought the emperor back. Why? Was Kylo Ren not compelling enough of a bad guy? That tells I don't you know. That's a great weak. question. As a like, if they're sitting there, let's say there's 15 people sitting around, and you're, are you? dealing with okay you got all these different ideas okay we're gonna bring the emperor back okay cool we all agree that seems i don't know bail did yeah i i would think there's got to be more or the, oh, they were trying to put a period on they were trying to wrap it up right so it's the last one they're gonna do it's the last trilogy or so it was said i'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt what was the idea why did they do what they did Right. Okay, and I agree with you. The cinematography is amazing. The acting was mediocre, but you. Well, the acting was better than the the middle set of three. Yes, I think the middle set of three had challenges, but we'll talk about that. But they also resurrected a guy f who was dead since nineteen eighty three. That's my big. That's my problem. If the movie, I didn't mind the movie, but you can't do that, in my opinion. I don't understand why you need why it was needed. Why not have? Snopes, like, why not say that the Emperor trained the guy who trained Snope and have Snopes' guy be replace the Emperor in this case? Yes, and have say, a new bad guy. I got you, right, I got you this first or the final order. Yeah, I was surprised that they killed Snope in the second one because he's the he's the new Emperor, right? So Killed him in the first one, second one. Second one. Last Jedi, right? Last Jedi. That's the scene where they get yes. to, with Ray and yes. Kylo with yeah. the red dudes with the crazy yeah. lightsabers. That was a pretty cool scene. So, I, I, why would you kill him? You you have nowhere to go, I guess. You Snopes is not. He's in the first two, and then boom, he's gone. Right, but they must have. They wrote it that way because they obviously yeah knew they knew what they, they were going to do, right? Which seems odd though that you would do. I could see, like I said, I know that the Emperor was Snoke's master or something, right? Allegedly. Something to that effect, yeah. But why not have an intermediate? Have not yeah another generation in there? Yeah, and that way that would have solved those questions, I think, or like really made it more solidified. Like, well, I was the man behind the man. Yeah, uh, in a weird way. But yeah, Kylo Ren killing him, him just being an entitled little bratty bitch the whole time. Like all of that, all of it just doesn't. And I like Adam Driver. That's it. Really hurts because I like, like, yeah, yeah. I, what I've seen him do other stuff, and he just seems like a nice person. Like he seems like a he's down to earth. And, yeah, yeah, like he's a, a good, good actor. Guy. Yeah, and this, he was a marine. This was sad. It was so sad to me. Anyway, um, what's number eight? Number are, eight. Are we on eight? Okay, yes. Go. Me. Yes. Me. You. You. Me. You, me. You. you. Me. 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 You, you, uh, you. Revenge of the Sith. Okay. Slightly different. This is where we Slightly break apart. This is where we, well, we're not going to ever, well, we could break up. We could break apart, but never break up. Okay. Tell us about Revenge of the Scent that I'll tell you where I have it after you okay. share your. Uh, I, I, I didn't like in the, in the series one, two, three, the whole thing when they call him Annie. I didn't like that shit. I thought it was fucking dumb. And I, I didn't, there was no, oh, yeah, Anakin and what's Padme are, they're in love and shit and she's pregnant i hated all that those, all those scenes where are you i'm scared uh fuck off that shit's terrible and then at the end i i like the idea of the the character changing sides i that's interesting to me and how how obi-wan felt betrayed i like all that and i thought it was a cool scene at the end on the lava planet but then the very very end is what ruined it for me when darth vader's finally revealed he doesn't look right to me it doesn't look like the darth vader that we knew from 1977 through 83 it looks he looks too small in stature and it doesn't look it doesn't look like darth vader to me that so that just fucking ruined it part of it was i was really looking forward to seeing darth vader like right you know the, the for the first time quote unquote like when anakin's resurrected or whatever how that process happened 
and I was completely disappointed. So my hopes were really high, and then, really? Really? Very interesting about that, because that was one of the, I like that, the way they did it, because I look, I look at it this way. How many times did the Stormtrooper outfits change? Yeah. So the first iteration of Darth Vader may have looked a lot less beefy because he had yes. less equipment or less whatever. So did he have less, a couple of surgeries or something? <clears throat> and I, never, I have never, ever thought about that. Right. I just thought, oh, That's why I'm, I'm trying to give you a, yeah. a different perspective. I, I, cause, yeah. Because I think if I give you that perspective, I think you'd look at it differently. Mm -hmm. Like it was, it was Vader 1.0. Right. And in so, 1977, that could have been Vader 4.7 or something. Right. By the time, I never thought about that. By the time. That we see him later. Right. Because really what has to happen in between? Rogue One has to happen. Yeah. And and then the beginning of, of Star, Star Wars. Star Wars, A New Hope. A New Hope. Correct. Yes. So what you'd have to do is see, I feel like Vader looked pretty menacing in Rogue One. Yeah. So maybe the angle was wrong or the camera. Yeah, you know it I mean? was it all been, cinematography. Right. I was and very it, disappointed. And that ruined the movie for me. Okay. And what I would do is I'd give myself a mental mind trick and go, that was when they just initially put him together and patched him up. They probably made augmentations and enhancements constantly, you know. Software upgrades. <laughs> Iron Man 2.0 and shit like that. <laughs> Mark 7. They brought, uh, uh, what's his name, Goldblum and... Uh, Goldblum. Osborne? No. Uh, Jeff, uh, Jeff Bridges. Gold Bridges. Hey, Tony. Oh, yeah, He's yeah. He's in the big fucking one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so I, I liked Revenge of the Sith for the fact of you saw how Vader became Vader. Losing three limbs, like, right against Obi. Obi's like, I Obi. got the high ground. I wouldn't fight Could him. You say then he fights him. Obi in <laughs> a Philly accent. I don't like it over there. Obi One Kenobi. Obi. Obi. Obi One Kenobi. Obi over is what there. They're called over there in Philadelphia. Obi <laughs> One Kenobi. Um, so, but the truth is, like, um, he. I like you and McGregor just like I like Adam Driver, yeah. but the he's fantastic. But it wasn't it, the that was his best role of the three, for sure. I felt. Oh like yeah, yeah, yeah. That. When he had the full beard and he was no longer the Padawan. Yeah, absolutely. I felt like yes. he, that was his best work, and I I liked it. I did like that one. I put it at six. Wow. Okay. So, but it's only two. That's not that big a deal because okay. like there's an there's a filler in between that, so it's really one only one off because. You had, I have the Force Awakens at eight. Okay. So for me, my eight is Force Awakens. Okay. For the reason that is, um, I gave it the benefit of the doubt because it was the Ab Abrams did an homage, and but basically, it's a New Hope Part Two. It really it's is a New Hope Two uh, It's a desert planet, sunny, sandy. The and like, she's wearing the same outfit yeah, Luke wore in there's 77. There's semi Jawas in it, right? Like, are, do they even have Jawas in it, or does she sell? No, she. But it's like there's like a, an outpost, and she has to scrimmage, you know, or scrap parts from some yeah. destroy star destroyer. Yeah, I, it felt so much like a New Hope. I, it, I absolutely, and I just I couldn't see past that. As good as it, when I say good as good as it was i couldn't see past it it was like a fucking photocopy if yeah absolutely and that made me sad except for one thing what's that and that's why it's the top of the last group of three and that's why it's at eight not ten except for one thing what what's the one thing han gets killed <laughs> i mean that's an amazing it it changes the whole yeah the whole franchise his the son. movie this right i mean the that that was I need you to help me. Can you help me? Like, right. When you first hear it, you're not sure what he's going to fucking do. Correct. And you're kind of wondering, because you don't know where this Kylo Ren story is going to go. Correct. But when he walks out there on a platform with no handrails, I was like, dude, don't go out there. Don't yeah. go out there. Don't go out there. Don't go out there. <laughs> That's about Indiana it. No, Jones. don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, he doesn't have his whip. Whoops. What's he going to do? How's he going to? How's he going to? Go to my. Da, ba, da, da, da. Uh, how's, how's he gonna get by right i don't, I don't that know. was my temple of doom yeah, it was really good oh, impression okay well just in case people didn't see the yeah do, do, do. the beating heart so um where do you have force awakens and what do you think and am i full of shit with with what no with not at thoughts? all you're completely i have it at 
five. Wow, that is a difference. But I really liked it. I gave them the benefit of the doubt that it was regurgitated. Absolutely, positively regurgitated. They even mentioned, oh, it's just like a big Death Star. Can we take the shields down? Like, they made jokes in the movie about the original New Hope. So that just goes to show your point is very, very valid. And I was okay with that. Because it gave, when they first showed the Millennium Falcon, I got chills. Like, I was seven all over again. So there was an, um, my emotional response is why I ranked it at five. Because I thought it was, I really liked it. I like Ray as a character. I like uh, Poe Dameron, the X-Wing pilot. He's free, He's like, he's kind of a combination between Han Solo and Luke Skywalker. Because he's, he's a crazy pilot, this and that. But he's, he's flying an X-Wing like Luke did, and et cetera. Okay. So, um, I understand that it's New Hope Part Two. I get that, but I gave them the, the benefit of the doubt. That, and I did not give them the benefit of the doubt with the Rise of Skywalker. With you know, because basically the regurgitation—it's a second regurgitation. That's where I was like, I'll give you one regurgitation. That's cool. Abrams did both of those, right? I believe he did all and three. I th did he not do the middle one? I don't know. I thought so. But I, I, when I'm like, okay, I'll give you that. This is the first Star Wars in many years. I will give you all that regurgitated material. Cool. I, lo I liked it. But when they did it for a second time, that's where I was like, no, fuck you. That's it. I don't give you no more. It was done well. Yeah. The, uh, that's not what I'm saying. It was a copy, though. It and absolutely it was. was. And But I was okay with that. And, and you we're, were not. We're going to talk further as we move up one because I've got some something to say about Ray. Okay. Um. So we're 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 at eight. You went uh, you went with Revenge of the Sith, and I went with Force Awakens. All Where right. did you have Revenge of the Sith? I have it at six. Okay, so, so we kind of flipped had, those. A little you bit. had one at five, and I have it at six. Okay. We're gonna have a lot of diversity now that now yes. that we split here. Correct, because we know that at the top, we I think we have a diversity too. Also, Tambian, because just because we know each we, other. Well, well we are well we've enough. already had that conversation. Yeah, for sure. So for seven. Shizzles. What do we have at seven? Seven. I have Attack of the Clones. Okay. I have it at five. Okay. So we're two apart again. So that's, so I, I'm two, I've moved the last two that were been different for me are just two ahead of you. In yes. Ranks. Tell, tell me about it. Attack of the clones. Uh, I, it's my favorite of the, of the first three. I did like, uh, the, 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 the lightsaber battle with Yoda. And I forget the other Dooku. guy's name. Count poo -poo -poo head is what I call them. Cause I didn't know what that is. Dooku. Count Dooku. Dookie. Like Count Dookie. Count Papoo -poo Head. So <laughs> I did like that. I thought that was cool. Kapoo -poo. Um, <laughs> um, And I did like the fact that at the end of the movie, it, you realize that the Emperor or Senator Palpatine at the time, you realize he was playing the two sides. He was playing the building of the clone army, the storm the stormtroopers, and the building of the droid army. So whatever one won he could just take ownership of that one. And I thought that was cool that they, that, that storyline developed the way that it did. It was very well done. I agree. Um, what else you got on it? Well, I have it at five. Yeah. So it, once again, it is my, the best of the, of the first of the, three of the, of the first of number one, two, three of the second set of three that were made. Yes. But the and second, we agree on that. The second, you know, number part two, right? Attack of Clones, so second overall part. Yes, um, number two. I love the the clone army part. I love you when mean they went to the island or that. The, the water wa planet the water with the planet. real tall people? Yeah, you I like loved, that? I loved watching the clone portion of it and like the army being created and the whole point to your, to your you know, 10 years ago, our city has put this order in. Well, that was 10 years ago was exactly when uh, Phantom Menace started. Okay. If you, if you do, you, are you familiar with the exact chronology? No. Okay. I looked a little bit up just on this because sure. I want I was very curious because I was very curious about Anakin and Padme's age difference. Cause to me, it's huge. it seems huge, huge. huge. <laughs> it seems huge. Correct. Yeah. Okay. According to the stuff I read, please correct me if I'm wrong. Twitter, Twitter world. world. But she was 14 and he was nine 
when they started. So they really only were five years apart. Now, at that age, obviously. Right. That's in the first one. Correct. In the second one, they make a re reference to it being exactly 10 years later. So he is now 19. Okay. And she's 24. Okay. That is now, except there is an acceptable romance there. Correct. First of all, it's they're both consenting age. Yeah. And secondly, five years isn't crazy. No, that's nothing at all. You know, I don't know if they have a drinking age. So like, I'm sure they do. It's 10. I think it was three at, at Los Isley. Los Isley. Los Isley. Los Isley. Yeah, that one too. So both of them. They're all both. <laughs> so, Attack of the Clones. I love the ending. I love the fight with Dooku. I love how Dooku was even telling them, telling them directly, you're being manipulated. And he was part of the whole fucking plot. I forgot about that. He's like, you're being, what if I told you that the, the Sith leaders, whatever, and you're like, okay. And I was, I was still questioning Hemming and Hawing. Was he really rebelling? Or were they all really playing along? And then we find out, obviously, in the end, it was playing along. And, you know, they just got screwed over, the Trade Federation people, right? Yeah. So I have it at, uh, like I said, I have it at five. You have it at seven, correct? Yes. Okay. I was trying to think of something else about it I was going to say. I did like the fact that you meet Boba Fett as a child and you meet his dad. I thought that was really good, and I thought the battle cool, yeah. with uh, Jingle Fett and and uh, Obi Wan on the on the water planet was was pretty cool. And you see, that's the first time you see Boba Fett's ship because that was his dad's ship, right? And you've mentioned it before the the space battle between Jingle Fett and Obi Wan and those sonic bombs. Seismic tell me, charges. tell me about that. I was just that I was gonna win. Did I precog you, bro? You just precog. I forgot. Me, I was gonna. I was gonna let this one pass. I'm like, but it's literally my favorite sound effect in all of Star Wars. They, um, they get that fight on the water planet. Boba Fett takes off. Uh, what's his face? Throws a tracker on him. Obi Wan. Obi Wan throws a tracker on Obi -Wan him. Obi Wan over there, and then flies over behind him. They go back over. They're in some asteroid field, mm -hmm. and Boba Fett and, and Jango, or Jango and Boba, right? Because Boba's like, "Dad, Dad, they're behind. He's still behind us, or yes, whatever." Yes. Yes. So he alerts that that uh, Obi Wan's still there, and then they drop these seismic charges, and it and it's like this death silence before wank, and it's something about that absolute vacuum of sound preceding that zap it gives me chills every time i hear it's it super knob. cool and i crank it up every time because i know Do you break off the part. knob <laughs> it goes to 11. <laughs> <laughs> did you notice those in mandalorian the seismic charges i yes yes i did notice that correct good um but okay so that's uh attack of Attack of the Clones, right? You have it seven. Yes, sir. Okay, can you close close it out on that, no, and I'm, then I'll give I, you my seven. I have I have nothing further. Nothing else. Okay. Uh, no. Probably a little lower than it should be, but only because I don't know where to put it. And this is where this one could have been five, and everything else would have been six and seven, so we would only been one off. Yeah. Just so you know. Yeah. Solo. Okay. Solo is my seven. Okay. <sighs> Love the cast. Absolutely. Donald Glover as Lando yeah. has the whole smoothness down. Oh, yeah. He's Perfect Lando. Cast. Perfect. Cast. Better. Better than Billy D. <laughs> no joke. Like, I. Ah, that's it, dude. I know, but it was so Nobody's smooth. better than Billy D. Williams, man. It felt like he. It did feel like he studied him for. Uh, yeah, I agree. I just felt it was so good. Uh, his girlfriend in that, that grew all grew up. She's awesome, and she's been in some stuff. She's the chick from Game of Thrones. Yeah, but the which... blonde. She's the blonde. She's Targaryen. Yes, she's the no. blonde uh, d d uh, dragon lady. She's not the. She's dragon the queen of dragons. Lady. Fucking beer, Google it right now, bitch. Bro. Do it. Do it. Are you serious? Just fucking do it. Am I that stupid? Yes. <laughs> no. Do look it. Look it up. Twitter world. Hello, Twitter world. Am I that stupid? Am I that dumb? God, I'm an idiot. Do you need to do no, a survey? No, I believe you. To the world. No, am I it, that dumb? It, because I looked it up. Because I, I, I do that a lot on IMDb. And I hear it. I hear it now. Yeah. It's so and I'm like, why do I know her? Eyes, she's. I know voice. her. From, she's pretty. I know her from something. Holy shit! It's the Game of Thrones girl. 
Sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, she's ugly. I know her from somewhere. <laughs> oh, that's right. Um, anyway. Do you never watch Deadwood, did you? No, I okay. can't. I can't is not the correct word, but I don't watch Westerns really often, as often as I probably should. I just don't get into them. So that's why it's part of my problem with Westworld was that it was, even though it was sci-fi, it was based like Western-y, and that threw me off. Uh, f- I love Deadwood on HBO. It was one of my favorites. And I'm watching Mandalorian last weekend, and the Asian X-Wing fighter, I'm like, I know that guy. Why do I know him? I know that voice. I know that. I'm like, I, oh my God, that's fucking, the, that's the guy from, that's Wu from Deadwood. There's a Chinese gentleman on, there's a little Chinatown in Deadwood and they take it, they do like all the butcher stuff, kill the pigs for the town, all that shit, right? But Wu, his English is really, really bad. He says three words in English. Swearingen, someone's name, which actually says Swedgen, San Francisco, and cocksucker. So that's four words. Sorry, that is four words. I apologize. <laughs> that is four words. Unless you put a space between cock and sucker. So, but that's all he says in the whole show. Swedgen, San Francisco, cocksucker. So when I saw that scene from Mandalorian, I was like, Jedi, Tatooine, cocksucker. <laughs> I just fucking... Man. It was so funny. I was like, that's Wu. Holy <laughs> shit. Wu's flying an X-Wing. Wu's wed five or fucking red <laughs> <Yeah>. leader. <laughs> Shit. Okay, so Solo. Yes. Um, the bad guy's Chaucer, right? From Night's he Tale. Is, yeah. He. That's also is Vision from all the Avengers. The, right, Ultra, whatever you want to call. Yes. Him. And Jarvis. The voice yes, of Jarvis. correct. Also, yes. That's how it. He's grew. so good, dude. He. I really like was him. Was fucking. Well, the actor. I really. I like that. all. I pretty much like every movie that he's done because I got into him because of Night's Tale, right? Yeah. He's great in everything. Yeah. And he was phenomenal in this. I put it at seven because I, I, it easily could have been five. Easily could have been five, but I put it at seven. Just saying that because I, like I said, Revenge of the Sith was six and Attack of the Clones was five for me. I could have gone solo five, clones six, Sith seven. And I have solo at, at six. Okay. Con- so and I, I thought the same thing as you when I was doing my list is I didn't know where to put solo. Yeah. Part right? of it part of it was I really, really look I was really looking forward to it. I really wanted to like it and I didn't like it as much as, as I I wanted to love it. Yeah. Because it's chewy, you know what I mean? You're like the Moon Falcon, yeah. Yeah, the eh. how the how they met, the bad and the, the freaking twelve parsecs. Uh, which the Kessel Run, yeah. and I was like, "Oh shit, we, we, oh my god, they're doing the Kessel Run." Yes. No, I, I was just gonna say, but I, I didn't, I didn't like it as much as I was hoping I would. That's why I have it at six. I loved, I, I really did enjoy it, but the backstory didn't feel like part of the Star Wars group. That's like why I didn't know where to put it, even though it yeah. explained where Solo came from. Yeah. That, like, you know, we haven't mentioned the other one yet. The other one's much yes, higher agreed. in our list. Agreed. They might actually, it might actually be the same. I believe same you're, I believe it um, is. But we'll talk about that in a second. So we have Solo, you met, you moved at six. And I, yes, have, sir. I had Sith at six. Okay. okay so. And I close, had Sith at eighth. Okay. So close out Solo. It was good. But I, again, I wanted to like it. I really wanted to love it. And I've seen it. I think I bought it and I've seen it probably four times now. Um, but it, I think it was cool how he met Chewie and I think it was cool how he was named Han Solo. You, you that Imperial guy checks him in at the airport and he gets his last name. I that was the, really cool. I do love the origin story of how they met and how all that happened. Yeah. I really do like that. Yeah. To your point, the confusion is where does it fit as good or not good or whatever as what it was in the Star Wars group because we're right because we're looking at it as a yeah. collection of movies and i do agree with you that it is lacking continuity with all the other ones because it doesn't it feels really really separate it does even though they have han and chewy and the falcon etc i agree so so now we got uh you said solo was your six yes sir i had said that six so what was your five force awakens 
Force Awakens. Okay. Because I did like it much more than you did. So five, even though it was regurgitated, I know I I, I understand it is a copycat. Yes, right. so but tell, I did really yeah. like it. Close, close it out. Tell us tell us a lot. Like, what's your favorite part about? What would you say was your favorite part about the Force Awakens on that? Probably when Han and Chewie walk in on the Millennium Falcon, and you're like, oh shit, total chills, man. When they get the Falcon back, on that they're on that big big. Uh, ship with those crazy monsters, yeah, with all the tentacles, yeah, yeah, probably that. Um, I also like the the first scene um, on that desert planet that she's from. I forget the name of it. No, it looks it's Tatooine part two. Yeah, Dantooine. Actually, that's how <laughs> fucking close it no, is. It was, no, it is. It was Dantooine. started with a J. It was J, J. Okay, don't 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 wait, don't, look, don't do it. Don't do it. Fine, look it up. I don't no, care. I don't but when know. they the first yes, thing, I know what you're talking about. When when the Falcon is you first is see Dantooine? it, Dantooine. No, it's not Dantooine. Look it up, dude. Which is the one that was Dantooine? No, you made that up. There's no such thing as Dantooine. It started with a J. Uh, <sighs> Dantooine was a planet in the outer rim territories with the Galactic Republic and later the Galactic Empire. What planet is Ray from? Dantooine. The site of the first base for the Rebel Alliance, Dantooine, is an Outer Rim world. No, you're making all that up, dude. That's, that's, I'm that, not those, making this those up. Those are total lies, bro. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, regardless of that, um, I'm, I'm, look, I'm reading as much as I can. Okay. But to that point, it's not. You're right. It's, ju, 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 it's like worse than Jar Jar is what it's called. Jakku. Jakku, yeah, Jakku, yes, correct. Jack, Jack, no, Jakku, Jakku. Anyway, but it basically didn't have like two suns and desert and all this bullshit. It just seemed so exactly the same. But yes, that all said, it was really well done. I like J.J. Abrams. I loved his Star Trek work. I love his did, other did he do work. Transformers. I think he did some Transformers before Michael Bay got in. Oh, Michael Bay was the original. Michael Bay might have been the original, right? I, I don't want to. I don't want to step out, out of my breath on that. Okay. Oh my God, I'm losing a lung. So we are now, I did want to speak something about Solo. Please. The Millennium Falcon was much more round than I felt like the depiction was in Solo. I felt the depiction of it was much more streamlined and teardroppy. Yeah, it was. And it looked different and it looked weird. And then in the in the newest set of three, it had it didn't have the front closed off, it had almost like a, it had fork. a cutout. Yeah, it had a cutout. I think that's because the Kessel run fucked it up. Okay. Regardless of any of that, all I'm saying is there was, seemed to be some inconsistencies in the design of the thing, which I would have kept exactly I, as the original. Yeah, as as I, I noticed that, but I'd let it slide. Right. I'm totally fine with the CGI being CGI and whatever. But use the dimensions of the original, scan the shit out of it, and get it get it right. That's my opinion. Yeah. Just because, like, if you're going to do this, you're you're making homages and you're talking about setup stories. I think accuracy helps. That that solidifies the history of it. Yes. In its own way. Okay. I I did really like that. Towards the end, uh, you see Darth Maul on the little. She's uh, she's talking to the little projector, the little visual of him, and I. Yeah. Of course, I'm like, I what the fuck? He's fucking dead. It, and then, of course, I find out in a comic book or the, the Attack of the Clone, the Clone Wars cartoon, uh, he has fake legs, like he has robotic legs, and he lived. And I'm like, oh, okay. Now I didn't know that because I don't, I don't anything but these movies. I don't follow. I only saw a couple episodes of the Clone Wars, all the cartoons. I know there's many seasons. I probably should watch that shit because I heard it's great. Oh well, to me it makes sense. To me, the, I thought that's because chronologically that was before Phantom Menace. Uh, that's why he, that's why he was on, that's why he was, I don't, I don't know. I think that's what they were trying to set the timeline for. Okay. Right. Because if he was talking to her, yeah, it would have been chronologically before Phantom Menace. Well, or he didn't die. Right. Right. It could have been the same fucking day. It could have been the same time, but I'm saying chronologically. I see. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Right. Young, young solo. Darth Maul is running things. It's Phantom Menace. Yeah. There's still a bunch of time before Solo gets involved, and there's that extra time for him to get older. Yes. I, I, maybe I'm wrong, but that's just how I read that. But it, it could be that, to your point, he survived. So I'm curious I'm curious what the if there are two sides of that question. I'm curious of that as well. So anyway. So okay, we got I, to I, five. I, 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 I just beer Googled, sir. I love that. The chronological order. 
Episode one, Phantom Menace. Episode two, Attack of the Clones. Episode three, Revenge of the Sith. Solo. So it it's it's his new it's his new legs. It's him with him, new he legs. has magic legs. Him with new legs, or could it be another one that looks like him? No, it's him. It's Darth Maul. I thought that's who. who so was it's as the well. fake legs. But they didn't say his name, did they? No, it of course not. But you know, it's him. He's got the the red and the black right. with the thorns but or whatever could, those things on his head. Is the red and the black a face paint, or is the red and the black his like his I, species? I, I skin? do not know species. Skin. Well, if couldn't couldn't this be a breed of Sith? Yeah, this horned, yeah. devilly looking face like Amazing that's what dude. they look like. Yeah, just just a You're, question. You no, know, absolutely. But it does it does happen after he was okay cut in half by Obi Wan. Well, then Obi- his legs. I, that's so weird. He would have lost way more than his fucking leg. Anyway. Well, I don't know what he's got underneath there, bro. Look, I don't want to know. A long time. A, a galaxy a long time ago, far, far away. A long time ago, a galaxy far, far away. He couldn't be Ron Jeremy because he didn't get cut <laughs> off like at the belly button. Why? No. His dingling's gone. My dingling. My dingling. <laughs> Everybody sing. My dingling. Um, Come dancing. All right. I think we're actually going to only have one flip flop on this. One flip flop, a flop flip. We have gone. We have we started with eleven, correct? Eleven teams. We are million. down to four each. Okay, four each. Give me, bro. give me your eleven to five. Eleven to five. Eleven Phantom Menace. Ten Rise of Skywalker. Nine Last Jedi. Eight Revenge of the Fifth. Seven Attack of the Clones. Six Solo. Five Force Awakens. Perfect. Go four. No, what, what is your th- oh, eleven through five? I've got Phantom Menace at eleven, Rise of Skywalker ten, Last Jedi nine, Force Awakens eight, Solo at seven, Revenge of the Sith at six, Attack of the Clones at five. So basically, now we're on to four. Our our eight through five is is where we differ. Right, and they're all much. exactly flip flopped. Like they're yeah, all they're, all they're all jumbalaya. They're all jumbalaya. But the bottom two and the and the top portion the are going to be four, very. I think you're going to be very close. There's going to be one definitely off because yes, sir. Because we already know a million times. A million number four. times. What's your number? Number four. Well, number four. Return of the Jedi, 1983. Agreed, 100. percent Go. What? What would I, you? I, I I would love to put it higher, but Ewoks. <laughs> I thought the Ewoks were decent. I'm not going to lie. It was fluff. It was too. It was too much. But like the logs, the way they the way they beat some of the ATST things. Yes, that's and that, pretty that was decent. really. I really love that piece of hardware, the two footed at at. I thought was f- like holy shit, that's badass. I have one downstairs. Shut the, the front ATST. door. With his leg, just does the two thing. I love that thing as well. The thing, the thing about that was like that was a little thin. They were preparing for this thing the whole time, like the logs and the thing. I, I'm like, you well, guys the Empire did occupy their planet. Right. The moon of Endor. Endor was beautiful. <laughs> um, Foresty. But w- why I liked it, Mark Hamill's oh, like mature. Yeah. He, he approaches the door, right? He gets into Jabba's hut. He gets into Jabba's yeah. palace, starts with that thing, gets out of that mess. Boba Fett. Does the whole thing, gets the sand, the sand dune thing, and the. The t- thing for a thousand years digestion. Whatever. Yes, like Sarlacc. Yeah, uh, which both of them survived. R2-D2 shooting the fucking lightsaber. Yeah, that was cool. And it's the green one, right? Because it. The blue yes, one, he made his own the anymore, green one. Right? Correct. He made his own one with the crystal. It. It was really well done. It was really cool, and I think it was right on the precipice of some new technology, like green screen, blue screen, blue screen stuff. All the colors. The speeder scenes. Yeah. Now, yes. Nowadays doesn't look one hundred percent real. Agreed. But looks pretty decent for like if you think about the time frame. We're talking eighty three, right? Yes. So what are your thoughts, final thoughts on Return of the Jedi? Uh, I think it's awesome. That's that's it, that's it. Okay, so go. Uh, okay, hang, do I have anything else about Jedi? Uh, why, I thought it was cool. Why? 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 I, why, bro? Why? I think it was cool that he went back to visit Yoda, and then um, the 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 meeting that he has with Obi Wan after Yoda dies, where the revelations made about his sister. Um, I think that's all I got. 
Okay. Some thin things. Vader turning so quickly, like, to be good. If you're that conflicted or whatever, I don't know. I don't see it. Well, being around your son, I, that's yeah, what yes. did it, right? Like, you're like, wow, well, maybe I'm not a cold-hearted bastard as I thought I was. Right. But and he realizes he has a daughter, you know? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I find it I find it challenging just because like he slaughtered fucking children. Well in, in Yes in one of the movies. Sith. Revenge of yeah, the Sith. Revenge of the Sith. He like, goes to the Jedi Temple. Yeah, he fucking annihilates children. Younglings, bro. Yeah, younglings. Younglings. But that's pretty fucking cold regardless of who you are. So I return it four also. Okay. What do you have at three, my friend? Rogue one. Hey man, why? Why, bro? Why? You... Is it because is it because I'm so goddamn handsome? Yeah, it's gotta be. And you got your little cute vest on. I like, yeah, I got my vest on, so you fucking don't see a lot of my fat, or it holds it all in like a <laughs> like a tourniquet. So it's a vest girdle. It's like a yeah, vest girdle, a vertle. A vertle. Those <laughs> are the best. <laughs> it's a guesticle. Vertle the turtle. The vertle, vertle, vertle. Uh, it is kind of like a girdle. I was gonna say like a corset, a vest corset, yes. like a vorset. <laughs> <clears throat> But uh, Rogue One, start. Go. Why did tell, you have Rogue One at three? You bro. tell me, my friend. I'm going to tell you. Um, I was I didn't know what to expect, but I th- I thought the story was good, and uh, the main bad guy is freaking awesome. Uh, I think it was cool that we got to see Grand Moth Tarkin in all of his CGI glory, and then Princess Leia at the end. You're like that just gives me chills, man. And there's uh, one scene where you see the short redheaded lady standing in front of the big eight foot diameter circular structure. It looks like a Coliseum with all the bullshit. And then that's the scene from fucking star Wars. You know, like they recreated shit from 77 and it looked really good. And I, I was, I was like a seven year old all over again. So, but the story is the main reason I thought that was very good. I, I watched it again. First time I didn't know what to, I would not have ranked it at three. I'll tell you that much. Okay. But then I watched it just recently with a very critical eye and then just saw how truly amazing it stood out. It's in your timeline. It has to go. It's so, solo it's, rogue one. That is Star correct. Wars, that is correct. New hope. Correct? That is correct. Okay. I loved rogue one. Two it, champion. It. F- it explain it shows the whole point like what it is is like star wars when you watch a new hope for the first time and the guys line up and it's this white fucking lit up ship and these fucking sparks go around and then fucking vader walks through and you just see blackness walk through yeah and that whole fucking scene that whole thing and then walking through the hallway or whatever and they and they give them the little disc or whatever, and they say many Banthans had to die? Something like that. I think it's Banthans. I'm sorry, Star Wars world, that I don't know the exact race. But that was like, who the fuck are these Banthan people? Yeah. Row one. Yeah. Was fucking... Aw- it was awesome. It felt... It had the heaviness of the original three. Yeah. It felt like it was part of the story. It it, it was. Right, but it, but it actually felt like part of it. It didn't feel like... Yeah, this this was part of the story. Like we added a chapter, but it doesn't feel like the rest of it. This one like felt like it fit in with the other ones. Yes, and that's I mean to rank it within the first trilogy, within any of the inside of the first trilogy, is a top four. I think it's pretty. That impressive. says a lot. I think it says a lot, and I think it was well done. Now that said, too, what do you think of the pilot or the woman, the 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 female? The, I think she's fantastic. Why was rebellions she not are rebellions are built on hope when she says that? I feel like she would have been uh, Ray was good, but I feel like that woman would have been a better Ray. Uh, I agree, but she's more she more hard at hard ass. Or but badass. she's more of a rebel. A, you know, she's a troublemaker. Ray's not. So I think they wanted Ray to be the way she was. So I think that actress could have played that character absolutely. But the I, characters are super different. Yeah, but I didn't find Ray to be the badass that like that she she became a badass. Okay, but I never sensed the badassness. 
You know what I mean? I. I loved her as an actor. That is not what I'm saying. But the Rogue One woman was something. She had some fire. There's some extra oomph behind it. Yeah. Like, she really, like, lived the pain. Yeah. And I think that's what that role really requires. Because are you going to be good? Is Ray going to be good or is Ray going to be bad? Right. That really, just like Anakin was, just like Luke, is he going to be good or is he going to be bad? You're always dancing that line with your anger, your fear, your confidence, your your love or whatever, right? I think you could feel the emotion in the movie where you couldn't really tell that in some of the other ones. Like, you know, Force Awakens and um last the last Skywalker, it was lacking that emotional attachment to the characters and Rogue One was not. I will give you that, sir. You just, you just photobomb me. I did. I don't know. Uh, I would never do that, sir. Yeah. So Rogue One, if if no one's seen it, it's one. It's really one of the. It's definitely one of the best Disney ones, uh, by far, in my opinion. Oh yeah. Shit. Not even. It's fucking better. Yeah. It's it's actually. It's it's the, the best, best Disney one outside of the trilogy. Correct. Outside the original trilogy, New yeah. Hope, Empire, and Return. Yeah. All right, I think we've beaten uh, that dead horse. Uh, may I may I say something about no. about this? This this is one more thing. Yeah. What well, in watching these? The one thing I remember about every Star Wars I used to watch was the fo- 20th Century Fox. Dun 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 yeah. dun dun dun. Because you knew it was coming. Yes. Aliens had it too. I think Aliens is uh, a 20th Century I Fox. I it think. Is. I think, and it's like. Because it was, it was like the lion roaring in... Uh, yeah, MGM. You, that's when you knew the movie was going to start. Yeah. And like when you and I were kids. Yeah. And we were all anticipating. You heard, dun dun dun, dun and you knew yeah. the next thing was going to come up was Lucas a long films, time ago. And then... Uh, not, yeah. Luke, not even Lucas. Or well, that used to be Lucas. But the original three didn't have that. And then they added Luke. It was oh. Fox and then Lucas. And then they got rid of the Fox. Okay. Right? Since Disney has them. So yeah. the last five have been it just it's silent with just lucas films coming up right and then disappearing and it's eerily i don't it's get not the, right i don't get the feel that yeah. i got with yeah that extra the anticipation. anticipation yeah something about it just just a, just That's a good aside. point um it's just something that uh that i've experienced well it's funny because my friend rob at work uh told talked to me about that he's like yeah you don't hear that trying Century fox and he's like it really sticks out when you don't hear it. Very true. Because you're expecting Absolutely it. Absolutely true. Way. So, number numero dos. I know this is where we split again, right? Yes. All right. Your turn, my friend. Number two, I have Empire. All right. And I know you do not. Yeah. We flip flop them. Flippy flops, floppy flips. I went New Hope. Of course. And that's traditional. Most, most Star Wars truists believe Empire Strikes Back is the best movie. And I, I believe I'm a Star Wars purist, but I don't agree with that. I, I think New Hope is better. Because I don't like a lot of the Dagobah stuff. I don't like. I hate the Dagobah stuff, but I love that you meet Yoda. Yeah, of course. So it's like, I hate the Dagobah stuff in the swamp is stupid shit. Of course. But I can give you stupid shit that was going on in the fucking Oh, yeah, yeah, too. absolutely. But the... the the snow scene on Hoth could be that's next to the lightsaber battle. In my opinion, that's the best scene in star Wars. My favorite scene. Yeah. Of all, of all movies. My, of, this, that of was badass. All, star dude. Wars is, all of was, was the fucking snow speeder guys with the fucking ad ads coming at him. Yeah. And fucking even Luke with his fucking lightsaber shooting up and yes, boom can throw it in the bomb and the fucking wire around the legs. Yeah. And shooting that. Yep. Loved that in the snow. It was, yeah. I don't know. It's just something about being a kid and playing in the snow almost. Like it was well, a weird I was thing. from California. I didn't have that right. problem, yeah, but it was still amazing. That no, was, was and how the, the pureness of oh, the, the snow, yeah. and how white it was. And then the next morning when uh, the snow speeders are trying to find Luke and Han, that scene is I really like because like the sky is so clear, so blue after the snow of the previous night. And 
the 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 ground and the snow on the ground is just magnificent. It is. I love how they how they find the Luke contrast. And Han. Yeah, the contrast Absolutely. of the of the white with the blue sky. Uh, that is amazing. One it of my is. that's probably my third favorite scene. It it, it is. Absolutely up there, and it's one of my favorite scenes. But it gets creepy, because doesn't doesn't Leia kiss Luke again on the lips this time? Yes, he when he's in the early. hospital bed, that's correct. Right, right when they're still in the base thing, right before yes. he's about to depart. Sorry, princess, I got to get out of here. Yes, when they're playing that thing, correct. Ew, but you don't you don't know it's ew. Yeah, but. Till later, but they knew and they made this movie. No. Yes, <laughs> and they knew the whole time, well, man. They yeah, fuck with us because he she kisses him on the cheek. But I'll, I, I'll give him Star Wars. I'll give him New Hope. Yes, but okay, hang on. So did when George Lucas made Star Wars, did he know that they were brother sister? I mean, did it, he had the idea for all three, right? But did. He didn't know if he's going to get the money or how the movie was going to do, etc. So, did he know? Did he already have that planned in his mind? Did he write all three? I don't know. I mean, the whole I goddamn thing is his idea. I sure hope that I don't know. that he's responsible for all of it. I wish I knew. Okay. Um, but that's Empire a great question. does also have the spoiler that Luke his, is his Darth's father. son. Yeah. And I remember being in going at school, and we used to debate at lunch. Oh my! Do you really think he's? Do you really think Darth Vader's his dad? We talked about that for months. This is where I think Empire just ekes it out, and we I'll go scene not scene versus scene or scene by scene, but Empire just looked be- more beautiful to me. Yeah, the, the snow scene. They had more money. The snow scene. They probably had more. Yeah, because more Star Wars budget, was so sure. huge, for so sure, right. huge. So, yeah, I, I give you that. So the opening the scene with the ads with the ads and the snow speeders yeah. was phenomenal. Cloud City to me was awesome. Yeah, I love Cloud City. I love the turnaround <laughs> where Landau double crosses them. Yeah, um, the whole all of it. The story in it is so it's so real life, or it feels like well, no, it's like it's the twist. Without the happy ending yet. We haven't yes, gotten there. That's why it's called Empire Strikes Back. It's well, I'm just saying it's beautiful because it doesn't have an it doesn't have an ending. It's not Yes. It's not over yet. Usually every Marvel movie has a conclusion. Let's go except with, for like here's Endgame. a great one. It's like Iron Man Two, because it's just so simple. Bad guy attacks Tony Stark. Tony Stark beats him, gets him in jail. Uh that's the movie. Sam no, Sam What's his face? Breaks him out. He go, He gets better at being a bad guy. Fights again. Knocks Tony down. Then Tony has to get better. Stand up and then fight and then win. Yeah. That's like every fucking Marvel movie ever. Correct. It's, it's a template of it's stupid. It's a template. Yeah. This has that. However, with a trilogy format, which there weren't many trilogies prior to this, correct? I would think. Um, There weren't a lot of that. Con- there wasn't a lot of that no. concept. No, you're you're correct. I mean, Jaws two wasn't a part of a tri- <laughs> Jaws trilogy or no. Part, there were know. no trilogies, right? It was all you could have sequels, but you didn't really have like it, it was, was designed, all sequels, like right. you know, Godfather two, and I mean, they go Star Trek two, Wrath of Khan it had nothing to do with the first one, so there was no obviously the same characters, but it, that movie stood alone, correct? You know, stood on its, stood on its own, right? And as and as Vader standing above Luke or whatever talking to him telling him he's his dad that's not that story is not over yet but we don't have a chance to see it for another t- three, three years. years three years <laughs> thank you right holy fuck you know what i mean like as kids three years might go yeah, quickly, that's a, whole, it's it a lifetime, like a dude. lifetime yeah yeah feels like two lifetimes so you have empire where i have empire one and, and you, I have it at two. You have it at two. So, and you have New Hope at two, and I have it at one. So we have. Let's talk. Let's close Empire out. Um, I just I liked all the stories. I just like the locations that they had. Right like I said, the Cloud City thing, Hoth. Yes, I agree with that. All the different places that that they were at, and it felt it just cool like that for me. That's that's what I really liked about it. All right, you close it out, and then give us give us your number one. Obviously, we know what it is, but. They won't talk about it. Uh, 
Uh, hmm. I, I don't have anything further on Empire. It's awesome. Okay. Uh, I, I think it was cool how Luke lost his hand and how they gave him a new one and that how that plays out i mean that was at the the last scene of mandalorian you i mean when when they when uh you saw the whole season two right yes when sir, i did when the last episode when luke lands when when some when an x-wing lands on that ship and as soon as i see a green lightsaber and i see one hand with a glove and one hand without a glove i knew it was luke because i you know that's i knew so that I think that was really cool, and most people love it so much because it shows the development of a Luke as a Jedi. That's the point of why most people love it so much. The purists. Is there a reason? No. That I'm losing my train of thought right now. Uh, the train has been derailed. Um, you need a helicopter. <laughs> no, uh, uh, Luke, Jedi. Oh, God damn it. Uh, Yoda. <laughs> oh, is there a reason that Anakin need to get his hand cut off? Was that odd to you? Well, that's probably foreshadowing, right? Because the movie was made after, but it was really a prequel. So, was it foreshadowing of Luke getting of his son getting his hand cut off? But he's the one who actually did it. What? Right? Didn't Obi Wan? No, Darth Vader actually cut off Luke's hand. Yes, correct. No, Obi Wan, uh, Dooku cut off Anakin's, Anakin's hand. hand. Okay, yes. So that was foreshadowing in, 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 clones. in clones. Yes, right? I'm sorry. Yeah. No, no, that's okay. My just, but the point is, they're two different people. I don't know if it's like weird foreshadowing or like, is does that make it more of a connection that yes. I had my hand cut off and then I cut off my son's hand? Yeah. I, I absolutely think that's what okay. it was. Okay. I, it was just interesting to me. They, and it was both their dominant hand, obviously, it was their lightsaber hand. Yeah. The, I don't know. Those, those fucking hands were pretty... In a galaxy far, far away, they couldn't even tell they were going to have twins? <laughs> Twinsies! <laughs> that was the other thing. They had fucking... I had a fucking robot droid deliver their goddamn babies. They didn't know twins were on the way? With all their fucking scanning technology and whatnot. I don't know, dude. Maybe they're not OBGYNs, Didn't bro. They, I weren't they shocked? Things. Weren't they surprised that there was twins? I, from my understanding of it? Yeah, I mean, a little bit. Because they're like, what? Uh, oh, okay, Leia. Luke, Leia. Because uh, I felt like they didn't know that they were getting twins. I agree. I never thought about the medical technology in this galaxy far, far away, you dipshit. <laughs> it's because you don't have <laughs> mental issues, man. <laughs> Man, I if hope when we are in a galaxy far, far away, we're going to know if there's twins in there or not. If you had no. mental issues like I did, you would know to ask these questions. Duh. Okay. No, I so, would not. Empire's done. Number one. Go. You. My share. number one You're is number one. episode four, A New Hope. The original 1977. Give it to us. Uh, and not the version that was re-released in 1999 or 1997. You mean my laser disc your, version? The laser disc That's is the, the version you what want. I'm talking about. Yes. The one where Han shot first. Han shot. He didn't shoot first. I mean, first. Han shot. Han shot. Did I, did I send you that video? You should put that on Insta. I should. I I've got you. I've got a video of me of me showing Han shooting. Oh, okay, yeah. Send me that. I'll just send that and we should Instagram yeah, that out. Yeah, you told me. Yes, yes. Awesome. That should be like and a GIF. A GIF or GIF. A GIF. A GIF. A GIF. A GIF. A GIF. A helicopter. Oh, okay. <laughs> I want you back. I want you back. Want, want you. Want you back. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Something about a restaurant. Ooh. On the trucker. It's not a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> Irregardless, I believe New Hope is the best of what all makes of them. It the best one. It's because it stands alone. If if no other Star Wars movie was ever made, that movie is complete, and you're good. And you're good. If if nothing else ever happened, amazing characters, amazing story. What what else do you need to say? X Wings, Tie Fighters, Millennium Falcon, Death Star. The movie stands on its own. It's 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 absolutely complete, and that's what I love about it. Is that the good guys win? Obviously, John Williams, probably the best composer of any movie ever. He said poser. Uh, come. Poser. <laughs> he said come. Also. A hashtag poser. composer. So it, it's, a, it's a complete movie. That's why. I agree 100%. It is a complete movie. Also the best movie because of 
The bar scene with the band. <laughs> Amazing. Hey now. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Good, excellent job. I mean, come on, dude. The You'll bar be scene. dead. You'll be dead. The bar scene. Is, dead. The bar scene. When Han flips the coin. Sorry about the mess. That's amazing, dude. That's so badass. You, come on. How how can you not rank that higher than Jedi, man? I'm he, sorry. Empire. Empire. He doesn't like you. I, I don't, don't like, like you either. either. <laughs> I'll be careful. You'll be dead. <laughs> and then those two guys were in Rogue One. And I was like, oh. Yes. I, was, I was thought that was really so awesome amazing, dude. I was like, right. oh, my God. It was. Um, and you're right. It. The sand people in that were really cool. Yep. Because they're... <laughs> yeah. The Jawas were the Jawas were the Ewoks, by the correct. way. Absolutely Just, correct. Absolutely correct. But to, they were in it for such a short no, no, period of time. I know, I know. But you're absolutely correct. They were the Jawas. But action figure wise, I have three of them. You have three Jawas. I have three of the freaking Jawas. Holy shit! Dude. With the cl- now, back in the day, de- back in the day, like all the original action figure ones, Obi, Luke, or Obi and Darth Vader have vinyl correct. capes. The plastic capes. Right. Not cloth. Right. Correct. Well, Jawas, they initially started with vinyl, but because they were shorter yes. toys, they mm-hmm. didn't want to charge the same amount. So they wanted to make it feel higher quality. So they replaced the plastic with cloth. Okay. So if you have the one with vinyl, they are worth yeah. oodles of cash. And I have three cloth ones. Poop. <laughs> Well, I mean, they're still awesome. Yeah. They're like, woo, 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 Are they? They're woo, identical. Woo. Yeah. They, okay. Yeah. Yeah. They're basically the same. All three of them. Okay. I think I I have at least two. I think I have three though. Um, because like you need you needed them to play with the whole thing. I yeah. Mean, hello. You, Duh. Somebody had that thing, and then you had the thing, and they had and the that other thing, thing with yeah. the thing. You had the Millennium Falcon with the alien and the spaceship. May they rest in peace. Um, New Hope was phenomenal, but the original. Correct. F- I can't. So why is it that Empire's better? What makes Empire better is that it... Okay, wait a minute. Why why did you rank Empire higher? Let's, yeah. Let me revise the question. Yes. So, your point about Star Wars as a solo movie on its own, if that were the criteria for any of them, that would be the it's one. It's not, but... No. I like I like that it is. That's something. That's why I ranked it one. And I totally get that being part of your criteria as being important to you. I agree that that is vitally important to part of it. However, I felt Empire was had a higher quality to it. I felt like the scenes, the locations were better. That's just my opinion okay. on it. Yeah. So obviously there was a three year gap yes right? yes and probably maybe four year between record or, i don't know how filming worked or yeah well you know, yeah it was filmed was in you know 79 empire and then released in 80 whatever something like that and yeah then, but i don't know when star wars was filmed exactly. 76 was released was in 77 i never know what the time frame is yeah. sometimes it, a year sometimes before a project maybe takes, yeah but back then it was different it wasn't so long Right, but sometimes projects take longer because yes, they just they run out complex. of money or whatever. Oh this yeah, was, that too. This yeah, was yeah, Lucas's yeah. first right. thing. I don't know the whole. I time see what frame. you're saying. Um, but obviously, there was more money thrown at, at Empire. Uh, I just liked Empire, and I liked ultimately the story of it better. Okay. Um, I I just thought the story was better. So the whole thing with. Like find like Luke, how Luke came to be and all that. I like that. How they met Ben, like Obi Wan and everything like that. But I don't know. Maybe I'm just talking out of my asshole. Uh, I don't think so. Stuff. So I don't know. They're they're so like one and one a in my opinion. Okay. Because I mean, what is it? Is it just because of this that it is a, a complete story that it's better? Is that what makes it a higher ranked movie? Yes. 
Okay. And it was groundbreaking at the time. I mean, nothing had ever been done like that Certainly. with all those different creatures. And so that's something. The models. But they didn't have as many creatures in the original. I mean, they had the creatures of the bar. Yeah. They had all the characters of the bar. Yeah, Chewbacca. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> and then you had that weird creature in the point. Death Star trash compactor. So yeah, you, you had, had stormtroopers. Like, that was like claymation y though, right? Like it kind of, uh, or stop motion well, looked it, almost a little bit. No, it was like it went, a big burp, burp. Yes. What? It was yeah. But you didn't see You saw its you know tail, what? like its body. You know what? You didn't see the uh, did you see the eye until yeah. the ninety seven version? Uh, yes, of course. Yes. The I can tell you right did. now all the new scenes that he added, which the fucking should be deleted. Yeah, well, horrible. There's there are some monsters or dinosaurs yes. that are riding as you're going into the station, and then there's some in the desert when they're looking for the droids. Yeah, it's just horrid, there, dude. There are some bad, additions and it's so too. obvious what scenes were added. They don't look right. That's the problem. The Han if, Solo Jabba the Hutt. Oh yeah, yeah fuck. Right. Let's not talk about that. See this thing though. I don't want to make this a bit session about Star Wars because we love Star Wars. Yeah, so we're just. I do find it interesting that in the original version, Jabba was human. And then yes. two and movies never, later, and, and they, they mentioned him. Right, they mentioned him. But hey, there's never, a bounty right. on my head, this right. and that. And how that whole scene was cut out of the original episode four. And then in Return of the Jedi, they Jabba is a big lizard, fat looking thing. So very interesting how it changed from a human to not. And it took three people to operate that shit. And they brought... And that they brought that scene back in from the him walking around. A it looks human. terrible. It is. It was a mistake. So maybe that's part of why this one's ranked lower now. Maybe I pushed a new hope down one because of the new scenes. Yeah, but see, I'm not. He, I don't because he added it. No, I'm trying. I know. I, I'm trying to look at the pure side, but right. This is still his vision, and this is what he would release nowadays. Y yeah, I, I see and your that's, point. That's unfortunate. Yeah, and that hurts. Him. In my opinion, that hurts him. Okay. That's all. Yeah. But um, we're so close. I mean, we we're are. so close in, in our stuff. Yet we're so far so, away. So, so close <laughs> is so far away. Come dancing. Da -da 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 -da. I was singing the kinks earlier with Father Christmas. Gave me some money. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Beat you up. Okay. What were you going to say over. before we started singing? We're going to go ten, We're gonna go 11 to 1. Okay. okay you're 11. My 11? Uh, obviously, the dumb one. Phantom Man is done. Yeah. Ten. Ten. Rise of Skywalker. Done. Number nine. Last Jedi. Last Jedi. So you and I, you and I are nine to eleven. We're good. Number eight is where we split part ways. Yes, sir. I have Revenge of the Sith. Yep, and I have that at six. Seven. I have Attack of the Clones. I have that at five. Six Solo. I have that at seven. Five. The Force Awakens. I have Force Awakens. I had it eight. eight. Number four, Return of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi. We match up on that shit. Yes, sir. Uh, three, Rogue One. Rogue One, match up, my friend. Not Rogue Three, Rogue One. Rogue Uno. See, si, Jace. Rogue Uno. I did like the whole story with uh, the Imperial pilot that defected. I thought that was really. I thought that was well done. And it was good. That was my initial problem with that movie when I first watched it in the theater. I watched it at Esplanade. With the were you dining? Yeah, I think yeah, when yeah. they just converted it. 24th Street Countback. 2016? Sure. I don't know. December? No. It was December of something. Sure. That. Regardless. Ill regardless, unregardless, and all of the guardless. All of the guardlesses. <laughs> all of them. Um I thought that guy was like a hippie and like not very charismatic. I thought he was a loser, the pilot guy. And I thought the other guy, the Spaniard guy, the guy was trying to act tough to be the sniper guy that was supposed to kill, shoot her dad yes. or whatever. It, it didn't, they weren't that engaging the first time I watched it. Watching it the second time, it was better. Yeah. I don't know why watching the second time was better. Maybe I was more distracted the first time or something, but I was focused on it, really trying to pay attention. And I really enjoyed it uh, the second time around. Love the Asian guy with the stick and had the force. Oh, the blind guy? Him. Yeah. That dude, the blind that guy. Was that awesome. guy and the Hawaiian guy with the big machine gun, yes. those dudes should have their own movie. That would be an amazing story. Yeah, how they got to where they got would have been Absolutely totally right. Cool. I totally... And what does he keep saying? I'm one with the force, the force... And the force with me, the force yes, with me. Yes, I, I am love with the force, that, the force how he kept saying I'm that. I'm with the force, the force with me. That was really um, cool. Yeah, so but after, back to Rogue One, and then number we three. split again. Yes, I have number two is Empire Strikes Back. And I have New Hope. And then number one is I have New Hope. 
and I have Empire Strikes Back. Yeah. So we have a little bit of variance, but pretty much our groupings are pretty much in the same little vein. They are. It's funny how you and I both are slightly confused by Solo. I don't know what to make of that movie. It's not bad at all. I'm I'm not saying that in any way. I just don't know what to, I don't know where to place it. Anyway. Uh, yeah. So that's it. That's been our ranking of all the Star Wars. We kept Mandalorian out of it just because it's more of a series. Yes. And basically with 16 episodes now. Yes. It's basically like 12 hours of fucking movie. Ye- it's like a 12 hour movie so far. Yeah. Well, it's but like you said, in a weird way. It's a series, not a movie, yeah. even though I think it's, I think Mandalorian is better than a lot of the Star Wars movies. It's great. It is really I, great. Um, it is funny though, because they, each week they go and get into some kind of hijinks. Like, I know it sounds like stupid well, to say Scooby-Doo. hijinks, but yeah, but it's really Zoinks. like, oh, we got to get this monster, that egg thing. Yes. Get the egg, egg, get this. egg, yeah, egg, yeah. egg, 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 <laughs> That was so awesome. Fucking but then, like, was... then they had to get this thing and then they had to get the bounty. Like, yeah. so I, I do love the diverse stories because it's not like, you're not like the goal is for the good guys to beat the bad guys. It's what's going on on the way to on the way for to the get big somewhere. picture. That's correct. For the big it's picture, the rebellion. Different. Right. Yeah. I li- that's what I really like. Hijinks. I hadn't thought about that, but yeah. that is the exact description. Yeah, right? When you say yes, it, that's stupid. absolutely true. It's a really lighthearted way to say it. Yeah. But basically, that's what it is. Yeah. So this was our ranking of Star Wars. Um, Chris, tell, ask ask them some uh, stuff. Please uh, rank and subscribe. Can you tell us what you think? In Twitter world, tell us what you think. Do you, what, what's your order of the Star Wars movies is is is? And uh, subscribe and download and give us stars and comments. Yes, we would love that. We're, uh, once again, doing well on the downloads. Yay! We love more feedback, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. But uh, we really appreciate it. Thank you to everyone who's been yes uh, kind to give us a listen. Absolutely. Um, once again, Beer Google is a fun one. Yes. Not conscious. We get serious up in that bitch. What do you say? We're deep. We're deep. <laughs> deep. <laughs> and you had a Gaffaw cigar? I did. Report? Uh, it was still a little not. Country. It wasn't humid enough. So I had it on the golf course yesterday. I had a taste. It though. was good. I liked it. Looking forward uh, to it. Yeah. So in, uh, probably three, four days, they're going to be perfect. Okay. It's Let me know. I'm very balls. excited. We'll have it next time we, we get to Yeah. Uh, cool. Well, it, I think it's time to close this To wrap up. it up. Tell in, us, con- in conclusion. Go ahead. Yeah. Sir. But can you tell us what you think? Yeah. Please. Twitter. And subscribe, follow us, rate mm-hmm. us, review us, all yeah, that good stuff. All that shit. Tell us your tell us your ranking. I I would have loved to do a survey where you just give us, you know, obviously one through nine and then Rogue One and and, and solo. solo and just tell us and then we put a spreadsheet together and the one with the, the lowest points oh, obviously is the, the highest ranked on average. That's good. I like that. But we didn't have that much time. And and, uh, and we've got a small if staff. There's, if there's has a lot of my friends probably haven't seen all 11. They maybe have seen eight or seven or whatever. You know what I mean? So I think that would have been a challenge to yeah. get. And there's not everyone's. A star, oh, I've seen them all, but I don't remember this or I'm not really a Star Wars fan. So those not everyone likes Star Wars. Not everyone's seen all the movies. So that would have been a real challenge. I'm going to tell you something Please. that may, may knock you on your butt. Good thing I'm sitting down. There may be one person out there. One. One. That think. That uh, Phantom Menace, Clones, and Sith are the top three. Well, then that's okay. I know. We accept that. I'm just letting you know that's a possibility. So if we uh, see that, I just want to prepare you for the worst. Okay. I, I appreciate well, I don't you know preparing if the worst me is right because that's judgy. It is. But um, it's worse for us because that's not how we Well, feel they're entitled to their opinion. Yes. And oh, you know what? If you think that's true, why? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. We believe you. Yeah. So in conclusion, in conclusion Star Wars. Yes. Also, uh, rank them. Yeah. May the force be with you. Oh. And you. Uh, Live long and prosper. Yeah. Be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes. <laughs>